Hello all. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about a great um, utility called XDoTool. It's just one word. You should be able to get it in most uh, uh, Linux distributions. I'm using Arch Linux and I'm using XFCE4 as the desktop. And uh, just to demonstrate, uh, XDoTool does many many things. Uh, basically it just uh, mimics what the mouse can do and to open windows and open menus and uh, various other things. So I have uh, four corners set up to do specific things. So the bottom left, if I hover there, it will open my uh, the whisker start menu. At the top left opens uh, XF dashboard, which you can get from the user repository. I believe in uh, Arch Linux and other distros that are using XFCE. And the bottom right should bring up uh, the Google App Launcher if you have it installed. So you can type in like Arch Linux XDo tool, for example. It'll open up in Chromium. And yeah, there are some bugs with this. <laughs> uh, so here's the uh, package, for example, and package size is 59 kilobytes and installed is 164, 65 kilobytes. All right, so it's not anything uh, that's going to take over your system. Now the XF dashboard is kind of heavy on the system, um, and it's uh, written with in um, OpenGL and stuff. But it's just this is just for demonstration of what potentially you could do. So you can open a couple of applications, for example, uh, the file manager and terminal. And another one I have is uh, like a expo, expose type of tool uh, called uh, Skippy-XD, XD, I believe. I'll have to look that up. So if I hover over to the top, uh, the top right, sorry, it should kick in. It's probably because I'm not screen recording. Here we go. So if I right click, it'll make this into an icon. And do the same thing with the file manager. You can make these into icons and they're now on minimized in the desktop. But if you open the uh, XF dash, you could, uh, if you have a desktop, this, I don't think this is a, this is a dynamic uh, workspace. So you have to manually set up how many workspaces you want. I normally don't use workspaces, but uh, this is just for demonstration. So if I click here, it'll take me to another desktop and see that the home folder is minimized. But if I go to the top and hover, I can um, click on it, uh, left click, and uh, it brings it back. And also, um, the middle mouse button will close the application. Okay? So you can... Uh, switch back and forth and open and close windows um, the, you know open and close windows and switch uh, workspaces using primarily the mouse uh, for the hot corners and it does uh, work with the all the left left right corners and as well as the top bottom uh, right left and right so let's look at a code that I have it's very, very simple to script. Say if I have a dash, we'll open that in a, a text editor. And XD, XDo tool, behave screen edge, that's the command top left exec equals, and then you can see the dashboard and, and you can add this into your startup. Um, whatever you use for a startup application, you can add this, either the, the command itself or a, a, a bash script to make sure it's uh, executable. So if you take this to screen edge, for example, open a terminal, paste that in, and say uh, just write exec, and say xdg dash open uh, say string home slash documents 
for example. I'll zoom back out and I press enter. So it's waiting for me to do that. So if I go to the right side, it opens documents. Okay. And if you like that, you can, like I said, you can put that in your startup or put it into a script or whatever uh, way you want it. And then to kill it, just press control C and it won't run that anymore. But I do have these running at startup, so it will trigger stuff like the dashboard and stuff. And uh, it's because I'm recording that it's a little sluggish. But I think you get the idea. Okay, so that's the XD, XD tool um, and Skippy XD. <laughs> uh, that one is from the user repository in Arch Linux. I'm not sure about other platforms. Uh, what that would platforms where you would get that or if it's available or not. I imagine it would be in Ubuntu or Fedora, for example. All right, so that's a, just a, one of the many, many uses of XDo tool. And uh, if you like the dashboard uh, GNOME shell-like behavior, you can have that as well. Not as, you know, elegant looking, but it, you know, it serves its purpose. Okay, so that should do it for this one, and uh, I hope you found this. Uh, I hope you found this useful, and uh, thank you very much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.